Hello everybody and welcome to another video. So, I've had a lot of requests to do another magic tutorial because I haven't done one in about news. <laughs> so, uh, this is a normal card trick. This is known as a card force. Um, I unfortunately, as some of you will be aware, have no friends, so I have no one to do this card force upon. But uh, we're going to pretend that I do have a friend and um, and we're going to do this. This is a card force. So, a card force is I'm going to give the person a free choice, but I know exactly what card they're picking. I'm going to force a card on them. So, I'm going to ask the spectator, Mr. Invisible. Hello, I'm Mr. Invisible. Is it? I'm a ventriloquist and I try to do be a... Okay, whatever. Right, <clears throat> anyway. So, uh, so they've got to come up with a number between 1 and 10. Just to make this tutorial easy, we'll go with 2. And you go, right, so you're going to go one on a table. 1, 2. Very simple. You're going to do that, right? Then you hand them the cards, and then they go one, and then the second card they look at, which you've told them to do, there it is. And um, you then reveal it as a prediction, which I have a prediction here, and here it is, let's get rid of that. And here it is, as a gigantic thing, and that was, I swear, a king, not a queen. Oh no, it is, it is a king of hearts. Good, so that's the, that's the, that's the trick, right. That's the, that's the, that's a simple card force, and that's what I'm going to be teaching you within this video. So this is a simple card force, and the way it's done is you need to know the top card, or the bottom, this card here. You need to know this card. That's the card we're going to force. In our case, it's the King of Hearts. Now, I just want to add the card silk here. Um, that is just a way, a quick way I came up with revealing it. By the way, I didn't buy this. I actually used this in my show. Um, and it is a, uh, yeah, so that's the a trick. You can reveal it in any way, shape or form. There are multiple ways you can do it. You could just, you know, not look. I did want to do that because I'm, you know, I'm looking at a screen right now when making this video. But you can do a simple, you know, don't show me. Oh, it's the King of Hearts. You can do that. That's kind of how, uh, that's, that's kind of an easy way of doing it. But you can, like, have it written down or put in an envelope or whatever you like. Um, so the way this trick works is with the counting. So when you say to them, um, because it's on the top deck, when you say to them, think of a number between one and ten. In our cases, we'll go with two, but sometimes it goes for longer. It's better. The bigger the number, actually, the better the force is, because it's more convincing. Um, when you go, let's go two again. Um, when you go one, so that's the top card. You've and you go two. That now is in the second position, and then you can hand it to them and say the second card is the one we're going to use. So the second card is the one we use, and I think that's such a good and very neat card force that you can do. Now, I love this as a card force. Like I said, I, t I don't put it into my show anymore just because uh, of the speed of it. My show is very, very fast paced. I, I just found it a bit too slow for me as my style, but you make the magic. You make magic yourself. So let me know how you get on with that. I'm very, um, very keen to hear. And if you want to see more magic tutorials, do let me know and I'll see you all soon with another video. Thank you and goodbye.